This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Uh, yeah, no, he, he, was, he was punished because ultimately he should not have criticized the uh, Klal Yisrael. Okay, Rabbi Yisrael, so here's the, the second the <coughs> offering on this week's Haftarah. This is um, a, an amazing insight that comes from none other than the Arizal himself on the Psukim in the Haftarah, which will also explain some of the Psukim in Parshas Shemais. So first we have here from the Sefer, Chazayin David, about the uh, connection between the Haftarah and the Parsha, which uh, the Haftarah of, uh, from the Navi Yishai speaks about the Maisim Merkava that Yishayo saw, similar to what Kal Yisrael saw at Kabbal Satorah, they also saw the vision of HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Shamayim, and Yeshaya says as follows, Va'eshma, and I heard as Koel Adoshem Oimer, the voice of Hashem saying, and Hashem said as follows, Esmi Eshlach, who should I send? Umi Yelech Lanu, who should go for us? So Yeshaya says, I heard God say, who should I send? Who will go for us? Va'oimer, Yeshaya says, and I said, Hineni Shalacheni, behold, here I am, send me. Meaning, I, I saw God was looking for a messenger, and I took him up on the offer, I'll be your messenger. Ah, uh, okay, good. Vayoymer, so God said, Leich go v'yamarta and speak l'amazah. Shimu shamaya, you will listen to me, you won't understand. Or ura, you will see v'altida, you won't know. So comes the Dumna Magid, in the Sefer Koch of Miyakov, and he points out that there's a little bit of a steer in the Pasuk, that first Hashem says, Asmi eshlach lashoin, Yachid. Who should I send? And then Rebbe Hashem continues, Umi Yelech Lanu. Who will go for us? Why does Hashem change from Lashen Yachid to Lashen Rabim? First God says, Who will I send? Then He says, Who will go for us? Furthermore, if you look up the Arizal in the Sefer Likutei Torah, on Parsha Shemois, the Arizal points out that that's not the only discrepancy, but Shlichus is a Lashen of sending. Yelech is a lashon of going on your own. Why when it comes to shlichos is it God Himself? And when it comes to lashon of going, is it lashon rabim? In other words, look in the Likutei Torah. The kiyot sebezeh tavin psukim, v'ashma es kol Hashem oimer, esmi eshlach, umi yelech lanu, t'chila omar eshlach, v'yachar kach omar yelech. Gam t'chila lashon yachid, v'yachar kach lashon rabim. So two discrepancies. One, sending, and then going. And one, Lashon Yachid, and then Lashon Rabin. The Arizal continues that there is another instance of this type of discrepancy, and that is in Pasha Shemois, where Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, V'yata, L'cha, go, V'yashlochacha, Parai. And I will send you to Parai. So again, the first era is, first it says, go, and then it says, I will send. That's self-contradictory. It, well, what does Rebbe Hashem want him to do? To go or to be sent? And by go, it's just go. But not, I'm telling you to go. And by sending, it's, I want to send you. So Arizal says uh, an incredible idea. Arizal says that a uh, Navi really has two missions. A Navi could have um, a mission to um, bring information and prediction and prophecy of doom and punishment that uh, basically get your act together, God's going to punish you. Or a Navi could uh, be coming to, uh, to be mevaser toiva, tell Kal Yisrael, Hashem's taking you out of Mitzrayim, I'm going to redeem you, there's going to be Yeshua Yisven There are basically two jobs potentially a Navi could have. Even one Navi could have a dual job. Let's say Moshe Rabbeinu going to Parai. For the Mitzrim it's Ra, it's punishment, and for the Klal Yisrael it's Toiv. Now we know that the Yibam Shalom does not associate his name with any type of Paranias or bad. In fact, the Yibam Shalom does not directly bring Einshim. What he does is, he withdraws himself and he pulls himself out of the picture, so to speak, and allows Paranias to happen. As opposed to Toiva, where the Yibam Shalom himself brings the Toiva b'chvaydoi v'yatzmai. Therefore, says Ariza, when Moshe comes to Parai, he had two missions. One, to tell Parai, we're going to clobber you, Hashem's going to tzashmetter you, Hashem's going to destroy you. And the other thing is, he, that, that Parai should know that Hashem's going to take the Klai Yisrael of Mitzrayim, which was Toiva Li Yisrael. Legabe, the first thing of Ra, it's not the Rebbeinu Shalom associating himself directly, but rather 
so to speak, Hashem withdraws Himself. And regarding the Shlichus Latoiva, that's Yerba Hashem sending Moshe. Not just telling Moshe, go. Yerba Hashem is directly sending Moshe. Ah, look at number six. Says Ari, Viato Lecha, Vieshlachacha El Parai. And now go, and I'm going to send you to Parai. Milas Lecha, Vieshlachacha, Soisum Zeza. The word go and the word I will send contradict each other. Achakavana. The intention here is, Hashem was sending Moshe on two messenger ships. One for the great benefit of helping the Jewish people. God does never deem a message for Ra as a, a, a shlichus, because Hashem doesn't want it to be attributed to him. <laughs> Regarding Moshe's first job, which is Tichbara <laughs> Avoida, Hashem says, Lecha, go! I'm not sending you, go! Lecha la'atzmecha, kilu a'ini mishalechacha. But Neged, the second one, which is Latoiva Askulas Yisrael, Hashem says, Ve'eshlochacha, I'm going to send you. Because therefore, for that, Hashem is associating his name. Comes Ari, Let's take it back to this week's Haftarah, to the Navi Yeshaya. Says Likutei Torah, Acho Inyan ki Yeshaya chatsi nechama v'chatsi tzara. Yeshaya was half nechama and half tzara. Now the truth is, that's not what the Gemara says. If I'm not mistaken, the Gemara Baba Vasra says that Yeshaya is kulay nechama. But even Yeshaya has some uh, tzara in it. Yirmiya is kulay tzara. Now, regarding these two missions of Yeshaya, ha- uh, Hashem said, Hey there, mankind, esmi eshlach, who will I send? Legabi the shlichas, I'm going to send it. Umi yelech, lo nu, who will go for us? Regarding the shlichas, I'm going to send. Regarding going, it's not me, you're not going for me, you're going for us, because Yvon Shem doesn't want to um, attribute his name directly to it. Therefore, a neged beis elo amar esmi eshlach neged hatoiva v'hanachama. When he said, "Who should I send?" That's regarding the toiva and the nachama. Therefore, it says lashon shlichos gamor uvelashon yachad ki kina shlichos laatzma levad ach neged heyoyso shliach v'inyan atzarois. But regarding being a messenger for tzara, amar umi yelech lanu. V'lashon halicha, I'm not sending you to go on your own. V'lashon rabim, because Hashem doesn't want it to be attributed to him. So Yeshaya here is that the Rebbe is looking for a guy to do two jobs. Halicha and shlichos. So what does Yeshaya respond? V'yoymer, v'oymer, hineni shilocheni. You could send me. I ain't going, you could send me. I'll do the shlichos l'toyva, I ain't doing the shlichos l'ra. So what does Rebbe Hashem say? Vayoymer, Leich. No, no, no. You go. I don't know about the shlichus l'toyva, but you're gonna go. That's how that Rizal reads it. Vayoymer Yishaya, Hineni Shalacheni. Let's learn. Any rights are actually a shlich l'toyva. I only want to be a shlich l'toyva. V'zehu Shalacheni, Belash and Shlichus. As Amar Leich Hakadosh Baruch Hu Leich. So Hakadosh Baruch Hu said, Go. Ki Ata Lo Hayetzarch Rak Lara. Right now, all I need you is Lara. Let's say Oymer Leich V'Amarta. Okay, and this is an um, idea that the Dubna Magid quotes in the Koich of Miyakov, and he even brings a very interesting medrash over here, that their Gimel Nevi'im, their Nevu'ah was Lara. And that are, the medrash says, who are they? Divrei Koiheles, Divrei Koiheles ben David, and by Yirmiya, Divrei Yirmiyahu, and Divrei Amais. Why these are the only three Navim which says the word of the Navi. It doesn't say the word of God to the Navi. It says the word of the Navi. Why does it say the word of the Navi? Because since it was Navu al Ra, the Yvan Shem did not want to attribute his name to it, and therefore it says Divrei Koheles, which is Divrei Kenturin, and Divrei Moser, Divrei Yirmiya, and Divrei Amais. So says Ari, this explains the, um, the back and forth by Moshe. Lecha v'yesh lachacha. Moshe had two jobs. Hashem was looking for a two job. Mi eshlach, for the shlichas I'm going to send. Mi yelech lanu, for the halicha, you go on your own. Yeshaya said, I'll do the shlichas. Hashem said, no, you're going to do the halicha. That ends the second segment.
Okay. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.